In this lesson, we're going to focus on the order of operations. And if you're following me on algebraclass.com, you'll know that this is our third example for this lesson. And in this lesson, we're focusing on grouping symbols other than just parentheses. So even though we may write down PEMDAS on our paper and we think of the P referring to just parentheses, we know that it actually refers to all grouping symbols. And in this particular problem, our grouping symbol is going to be the radical symbol. So this radical symbol is also a grouping symbol, and that means that anything underneath of this radical needs to be evaluated first. So if I had, let's just say, plus 3 squared on this problem, that would mean that we would have to evaluate everything underneath the radical first and then evaluate the 3 squared. Okay, so I'm going to take that away for now, but right now we're just going to focus on underneath of the radical. So underneath of the radical, I then need to go back and figure out what I need to do first. And since I have parentheses, I'm going to start inside the parentheses. Now, notice inside the parentheses, I have an exponent and I have addition. Since exponents comes first, I'm going to evaluate that exponent first. That exponent is 4. I'm going to bring everything else down, including the radical. And now, underneath the radical, I still haven't gotten rid of those parentheses, so I need to work on that. So 4 plus 9 is 13. And again, I'm bringing everything else down. And that just helps you to make sure you don't make any mistakes. Now my parentheses are gone and I'm going to focus on exponents. I do have an exponent. Here we have the power 3 squared. So I'm going to go ahead and evaluate that. And 3, I'm sorry, it's 3 cubed. 3 cubed is 27 because that means 3 times 3 times 3. Now I've been able to get rid of the exponent and I have no multiplication or division. So it's addition or subtraction. And I know that I can evaluate that in order from left to right. So 39 minus 27 is 12. And 12 plus 13 is 25. And now, at the very end, is where I will evaluate the radical. This means the square root of 25. And the square root of 25 is 5. And that's because 5 times 5 is 25. So the final answer to this problem is 5. And what I want you to fully understand is that the radical symbol is a grouping symbol. And everything underneath of that radical should be evaluated together um, as if it were in parentheses. And we're going to follow the order of operations underneath the radical just as we would with any expression.